Lindsay is probably the most passionate, loving, generous, enthusiastic, gifted, gorgeous, and funny person I've known in a life of knowing and working with a host of remarkable people. She is also the fastest talker on the phone and sends the longest texts of anyone in the entire world. I would bet that there's not a person at PNB who does not miss both Lindsay and Carell and will always remember their artistry and their vivid selves. She never took dancing for granted, and her passion was seen by all when she would step on stage and transform into any role she was given. I was moved to tears many times watching her dance because her dancing starts from a place deep within, and it is then illuminated through her movement. But the first thing that you have to know about Lindsay Duck is she is obsessed with nicknames. Everybody has one, including her. And from when we first met, she has always been Linda, and I have always been George. We first met at the summer course in 1999 there in Seattle. But I think the most important thing is that Linda's always been part of my life. She's always been there. She's like a sister. From the company dancers, to the school students, to the staff, or anyone who has met Lindsay. Lindsay is one of those people that will stop what she's doing, help you out with this or that, or just sit there with you and help you talk it out. Giving and generous, never asking or wanting anything in return. That is Lindsay. Deck. I'm here sitting in my studio in San Antonio, Texas, to Cruz Ballet. Who would have thought we'd be opening up a studio in the middle of a pandemic? Um, definitely we did not think that. I never thought I would be retiring in the middle of a pandemic, but here we are. <laughs> it was a very difficult decision for me to decide to retire, but I felt like in the end it was better for uh, my family, for my boys, for Corel and me and for us to start a new journey, um, having our own pre-professional ballet school here in San Antonio. But I am just so incredibly grateful and so blessed that I had such a beautiful career at PNB. It has shaped my life in more ways than one. It has helped me as an artist, as a human, as a mother, as a wife, as an entrepreneur, everything. I absolutely love this profession so much. It has been my whole world, uh, my heart and soul since I was three, the discipline, the passion, the dedication to be able to express myself in a different way has been um, so rewarding. More than 20 years ago, a gangly, eager, and very nervous young dancer arrived at PNB for a summer course. I was immediately interested in her because she'd been the student of a colleague of mine in the New York City Ballet. Her physique was beautiful, with endless legs that she struggled and struggled to control. Open, generous, fun, and funny. Within a day, Lindsay was a favorite of her classmates, and her teachers had taken note of her strong work ethic and enthusiasm for dance, especially that enthusiasm. At the end of the course, Lindsay came to my office to talk about staying at PNB for the school year. According to Lindsay, I told her that I liked her dancing, but that she was too weak to be placed in the professional division class. She begged me, as only Lindsay could, and she promised to work really, really, really hard. As she tells it, I gave her a very long, appraising look, then said, okay, but don't get hurt. And she did work really, really, really hard for the following 21 years of her career with PNB. She got those gorgeous legs under control and was a joy to work with welcoming corrections, absorbing advice. She gave everything she had to the work and to her audience. I saw Lindsay Deck, I walked into Pacific Northwest Ballet's company class to just watch. I was interviewing for the job at the time and Lindsay stood out immediately. 
She had an exuberance that you couldn't contain. She would fly across the floor with this spectacular jump. Um, limbs were everywhere. <laughs> I've learned, Lindsay's limbs are really um, like none other. The way that she uses them, the way that they cut space, the angles that she achieves, um, are really like an extension of expression and personality. Lindsay was a natural for the works of William Forsyth. She just had the flexibility for it and the fierceness, for lack of a better word, and the drive. But she would just go for things. And it was thrilling for an audience just to see that level of risk as far as being off your leg, as far as holding onto a balance. And Lindsay was never afraid to do that. I remember her so often in the studio. She had this gut-busting laugh that would just break out without any warning in the studio. Sometimes she'd be laughing at herself. But Lindsay's friendships with her partners were as strong as her friendships with her dressers. <laughs> she relished the time that she had and expressed the appreciation for everybody that she came in contact with at p and On a personal level, Lindsay is compassionate and one of the most genuinely friendly people I have ever known. She remained approachable even as she became a seasoned principal. Her humble and gracious nature was always shown by the way she takes younger dancers under her wing or by the way she supports her fellow dancers by standing right up against the wing and cheering them on during performances. Lindsay has countless strengths as a dancer but the one that has always stood out to me is her exceptional work ethic. She rarely missed class, even after the birth of her first son, Koa. No matter how tired she was, you could bet she was gonna finish class and then continue to work on her own afterwards. I always admired her steely focus and her desire to continue to build on and improve any role she was given. If a step wasn't working, she'd go to a private studio and work through it until it became second nature. From the first time I saw Lindsay in company class, I knew, knew this was someone special, gifted, and talented. Someone I was going to have a chance to watch and to grow and mature as a dancer as she rose through the ranks of the company to principal dancer. Her talent catching our eyes, as well as the numerous choreographers who chose and wanted Lindsay in their works. Lindsay is a person who is always determined to be the best in everything she does. I admire Lindsay as a dancer, as a person, but mostly as a mother. One of the highlights of my career, besides my boys, is finding my life partner at PMB. And Corel has been such a uh, such a huge part of my life, of my career. He was my coach, he was my inspiration. He challenged me, he pushed me, and most importantly, he supported me. He was backstage at every single role that I've done. Um, he would help coach me privately in a studio, trying to help me just finesse things. And his love and his passion for doing that was just so inspiring. And I really, I tell this to most people that I would not have had the career that I had if it wasn't for him right by my side.
one of the best strength uh, for Lenzi as a dancer is the ability to, to connect with the audience so well. If you're in the audience and she come on the stage, she will pull you in um, right away with her uh, passion, her fire on the stage, her eyes, and of course her dancing. The roles that I have gotten to do has just been more than I could ever imagine. Um, obviously, I'm sure you guys can see Ruby's right there. <laughs> so um, I'm sure a lot of you know that that was such a highlight of my career. I saw that when I was 14 and that was the moment where I knew I wanted to be a dancer and I knew I wanted to do that role someday. And I was so blessed when Peter cast me as a tall girl never thought in a million years that I would be able to do that role. And of course, working with Paul Gibson on that my entire career was just really wonderful. I absolutely love Petite Mart. Uh, that was something really special for Crow and me to do together. I love doing In the Middle, Somewhat Elevated. That was always a dream ballet of mine to do. Jardi, anything that's not so Eduardo, Jardi Tonka, Assemblements. I really love Giselle, which is really surprising because I do not consider myself a classical dancer, but this Giselle that we did, that Peter and Doug put together, I fell in love with it. I fell in love being Mirta. I love her. I love the power and the, the passion and the, um, um, the strength that she, that she carries with her. I love doing Kitri with Corone. I think that was um, probably one of the biggest highlights of my career. Um, doing a full length that hard, um, doing something that I actually had learned with Corel back when we were core members like a billion years ago. And we went to the back studio and Studio G, I think it was, and we would just practice. And um, we wanted to um, improve and to practice our partnering. So it was such an amazing kind of full circle journey. The other most beautiful moment about that was that was when we decided that it was that we wanted to start our family. And I couldn't imagine in my career anything that could be better than that. Dancing with my husband with a ballet that I absolutely love, um, you know, that is full of so much passion and love and you know the Latin roots behind it and both of us being Hispanic, we just, you know, we identify with that um, and those characters. So um, that was really such a, um, a great moment and then Koa came along and and I'm emotional about it because he's my whole world and Kai is you know just our whole life and we never imagined having two boys you know I don't even I think we always imagined that we wouldn't want to have kids and when Koa came along that was just that just changed me, it changed Corel to be even better people, I think. Um, he is the best part about me and the best thing I've ever done in my life, along with Kai. 
the last ballet that we did together, and I'm not gonna cry, Linda, I'm not gonna cry. Um, <clears throat> last ballet that we did together was Morse Pavan. And it's already a gut-wrenching ballet. And I'm, you know, laying over top of Liz Murphy and I just killed her. And I look up and there's Linda and she's bawling on stage. I'm bawling on stage and we're all bawling on stage. And even though I saw that she was crying, I knew and I could see in her eyes that she was ready. And I know that just like in her ballet career, um, she's gonna enjoy great success after in the second life, as we like to say. And so I'll finish with this, and I had to write this down. Um, you are the beacon of sunshine and light at PMB. Whenever you're having a low day, you can always go to Linda to bring you back up. There's no one who can say a negative word about you. From all of us, we thank you. for sharing your beautiful soul with us. And I miss you. And PMB misses you. And I know that Seattle misses you. Love you. Lindsay, our years dancing together will always be something I treasure and deeply miss. You brought so much electricity and passion to this stage, and you've been an incredible example of hard work and perseverance for the next generation. There's no replacing you. And I know I'm not only speaking for myself when I say PNB will not be the same without you. I love you, and I am so very, very proud of everything you've accomplished during your beautiful career. Thank you to Ket and Francia, who took a chance on a very weak 17-year-old coming to Seattle who had no clue what she was doing and um, for believing in me. And thank you to Peter Bull, who has believed in me and given me such amazing opportunities and roles and ballets I never dreamed of doing. And thank you for pushing me and always knowing that I could do it. I think one thing for sure I'm going to be sad about, obviously, is just everybody at PNB. All my colleagues, artistic staff, Devo, admin, wardrobe, costume shop, stage production, our stage crew, everybody, every single person in, in, in PNB has really touched me in, in so many beautiful ways. And I'm going to miss seeing all of our amazing board members, our donors, our audience members, our fans, everybody who has come to our shows, who have come to support us, every single rep, every program. It has been so wonderful, um, the feedback that we always get, the response, and I will miss that tremendously. I have loved performing for you over these past 20 years. It's been um, just an incredible journey at PNB, and I thank you all. Love you.